Welcome, I'm Garrett Hack, and you're in my shop in Thetford Center, Vermont. This is a desk I've been working on for about 11 months. It's a commission from a father to a precocious son who loves chess. So a major part of the program is to build in some very, very secure secret compartments. Things that hopefully he won't find for a while as he lives with a desk. To uh, understand how to build it, I had to build a small model. I don't normally do this, but this was so curved I had to get a sense of what the shape was going to be like by building a model. I did do full-scale drawings of the top, the top view, and also the front view. And what's missing here now is, is a timbre door that goes across the whole front of the facade. So it's a desk for him and multi-use as well. I'm trying to think about what does a desk mean 30 years from now? How is it going to be used? What does he need? So I'm thinking about it as a place where you can sit down and work as a desk. It's a place you can stand up and use it as a desk. It could be a serving piece. It can be a place to display um, uh, items of importance to him. And I'm trying to think about the long term that this could have a changing uses. So this desk is constructed mostly with black walnut. That's the structural elements of it. And the drawer faces are white walnut or butternut. The legs are white oak. I wanted to have a lot of strength in the legs. And they've got ebony socks on the bottom. This is a detail that I used on another piece for the father. He liked it and he wanted me to reproduce it here to relate the two pieces. So it's got a slide out writing surface here. Not an easy feat to build this into the case and have it be very strong so it can be used for the long term. And actually, when that slid all the way in, it locks one of the secret compartments, which is kind of interesting. And then the drawers are typical the way I build drawers. Uh, beautiful Engelman spruce bottom, beveled to fit into the groove, naturally dovetailed, angled dovetails in this case. And then Brazilian rosewood knobs on each drawer. Let me show you one of the secret compartments. I've got to pull out this drawer. If you can look inside there, it looks like a regular drawer opening with little runners and guides for the drawers. But yet if you reach up under this rail, it's a very small pin. If you pull the pin, this door opens up. So let me show you how it's constructed. Each one of these butternut staves has a, a tenon into the bottom and top rail. And it's a way to make a curved surface quite simply. Uh, just stave them together, bevel them together. Some of them have long tenons with little uh, ebony pins. And you see this little bead along the bottom here, just a little decorative detail to round that edge. And when the uh, Writing slide is in, it's locked, but now it's out. And this one stave turns, and inside here are three little compartments. In the back, you've got five drawers, related to the idea that this is a stand-up desk as well. So each one of these has a different use, different scale. And I must say, this is one of the more challenging parts here to build these dovetails, all angles. Each one of these drawer faces is laminated. That's something that I like to do because you get shape, you get strength, you get stability, and obviously you get curve. There's a little more complexity to these staves each one has got a sort of a pillow shape. So they sort of have a texture, of a, a, a three-dimensional texture to them. As well as I'm using the colors, the natural colors of the butternut as a sort of pattern across this facade. This top view gives you some idea of the complexity built into this desk, along with the joinery to bring it all together through wedge tenons and double dovetails and that kind of a thing. So um, the outside is very quiet, just this big curve, but all these little secret compartments are built in here. You've got to decide how to slide this or push that. Here's one of them. 
There's another that you actually have to go through two processes to get to. And another over here. And I've also built into this some false leads. Things that look like secret compartments that actually aren't. Here's a little knob on what looks like a door. You pull out the drawers and it's obvious that this is a secret compartment, it looks like. And you can turn the knob, you can push it, and there's a spring associated with it. So it's giving you resistance like you think you're actually doing something. Like maybe if you turn it a couple of times to the right and a couple of times to the left, that you can open it. But nothing will ever happen. I'm going to put the top back on. So all these secret compartments are very secret once again. I'm going to post one last video of the timbre door, which has a lot of beautiful details. And this summer, this will be displayed at the Center for Furniture Craftsmanship in Rockport, Maine, in the faculty exhibit. In the meantime, shh, don't tell anybody you know where the secret compartments are.